You should never have a problem with trusting yourself, boo. Yourself is all you have. So if you don't like it, you always have the right to move on. What's up, cousins? My name is Kamori Samo, and you're watching Samoa House. And today I have a new guest for you. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Samantha. <laughs> okay. And we're going to do an icebreaker, but this one's a little bit different. We're just going to be doing a little wine now story time. And we're going to hop right on into it. So we're going to do an icebreaker. Where are you from? I am from here, Columbus, and I've lived here my whole life. So if anybody tells you something different, don't believe them. Yeah. Don't believe them. <laughs> well, you have like a Columbus accent. I feel like it. Like When I moved away, I asked if I sounded country and they said I just sound like I'm from the city so yeah you definitely have like a city type of accent um so yeah I don't really do you think I have a city accent yeah I say so you do I feel like just like a different part you know like sometimes you from the north sometimes you're from the south sometimes it, it's like all over the place because some people be like you sound like you're from up north and you sound like you're from yada yada yada. I'm like, I'm from Columbus. It's, but we're, I feel like we're kind of a mixed city. Like we're not that big of a city, but we still got a lot of different fucking people. This one is Thank you. That shit would. It really does taste like, mm, you know, like some little grape juice or whatever. It tastes like girl true, grape true, grape. <laughs> <laughs> Is that damn that, that shit? <laughs> but it tastes like grapefruit, but with a with a punch. Like you know, it's there. It's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> it the, it's a um, it's a it's a mosecco, so it's a little bubbly, but it's not. It's really good. So. Um, are you a drinker? Are you a smoker? Definitely a night with me. Yeah, like I'm definitely a smoker. Whenever I drink, I'm just I throw up before I can even get blackout. You throw up? I'm a thrower upper. <laughs> but you can't hang with the game. I can't. But I know my limits though. Usually, if I do throw up, it's like the next morning. Like I, I wake up and then maybe, <laughs> maybe we we want to go to brunch after. Oh, I'll still be down. Look, like the first you just time before, like yes. <laughs> when I bought my car, I threw up and then I smoked the black afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then I called and I was like, yeah, you know, I'll drive up to Atlanta and come get my shit. Mm -hmm. and I paid for my car. So. I heard blacks help with a hangover. That's true. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I feel like your stomach is a little shaky after you throw up, and when you smoke a black, it's really not that bad. Like I don't, I didn't throw up Could after you like I smoked. the third it. person who said like, "Yeah, I just smoke a black. Like if I have a hangover, and I'm good." I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about no hangover now. Hangover, my shits be really bad. Ooh. Like the sunlight hitting me just is. Weed, I know. I feel like a just fucking like, vampire or some shit. Weed, like the sun and just is so bright to me. Mm -hmm. I just I can see that shit from a mile away. I stay in my room, blackout curtains okay. under the covers. Hangovers do not be that bad. I still be functioning with ibuprofen. Give me some good. No, I'm literally when I have one, damn near on the verge of fucking death. That's how bad it is. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite artist in your current song? Bruh. She was playing some sad shit earlier. You like the... I like shit to talk my ass with. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you you like. You not have me crying. I am like a just chill music type of person. Mm -hmm. You're not the only person that has told me that the music I listen to is sad. It's I'm sad as fuck. It like, was just like a chill, you know, like a little late night drive, no, maybe. I just got finished cussing out my nigga. You think I want to listen to something sad? It's, it's relaxing. I wouldn't say sad. More like a, a little, I do a little self-care day type shit. I'll be listening to that. No. Who is my favorite artist? I feel like I low-key don't have one. 
Well, okay, so what's your favorite like song then? My favorite song. What's your song? current favorite song that you just been bumping? Like, gotta play this shit back. That's such like a good question. I don't even know. Because yeah. I listen to everything. Do you want to know how many songs I have on my Spotify? Yeah. It's like 3,000. What's your current favorite song that you added then? Like, what's your recent song that you had added to your playlist? It was something by Tweet. It's called Oops. Okay. Like Oops and Iceberg. It's kind of old, little 90s shit, but. Okay, okay. <laughs> So, mine recently has been Money Bag Yo, My Baby Daddy, mm -mm. Quickie, That Little Pussy Got Some Pounds, Hank Got Me Weak, I'm about to shower, she look good enough to eat. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't even go on YouTube or nothing like that for real. That should be bumping like everywhere though. But I don't listen to the radio either. So pretty much, I just be going off Spotify. And like, I'll be finding songs that I'm like, oh shit, this is from two years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm just now finding it again and I'll download that shit. But then it'll give me a whole bunch of new stuff. Okay. okay. Too. So pretty much, I'm going off that. But like, Glock in My Lap by 21. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> just going straight 90s and just like I'm a hood nigga bitch but, bruh, like that song so fucking good he deserves uh -huh. everything 21 be in his bag he do he do you know what else I've been buffing lately though like to get on some old shit what? it's not old I've been listening to Chris Brown lately but like okay his, um liquor and rock me back to sleep Mine is like that shit lately. Kiss Kiss though, I, like oh, the old shit. Yeah, yeah. early two oh, thousands, bruh. <laughs> so, what's your favorite corner store snack? Corner store snack. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro, you mean these questions? They make you think. Mm -hmm. I don't know, honestly. I feel like back in the day. Like back, if you if you was from the South Side, you know, little hour store and shit. Ah. They used to have them little Twizzlers for ten fucking cent. And then I also really liked the pork skins or like the chicharrones. I know you don't fuck with that, but it shit was good. Mm -hmm. Now though, probably just like a bag of chips. That's usually what I go for them little fifty cent ones. You don't want that big ass shit. Yeah. I don't know, lately I've just been in a sweet tooth type of mood, so I be grabbing some Hershey, some Hershey Kisses, like okay. cream and cookies. I don't know, I've just been liking that. Like, cookies and cream, Like, that's girl. just my favorite. I'm not, I actually don't like white chocolate. I don't know why. Wow. But like I said, it's... What's wrong with white chocolate? Wouldn't want to want you to melt. <laughs> what did he say? I don't want white chicks. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck no. It's it's the same as coconut milk to me. Like, it's just Who that little bit. I drink coconut milk. You know I just pissed off some vegans. <laughs> Girl. No, but, but I like I coconut. Drink coconut milk. Okay, I kind of fuck with almond milk, but in a way, I feel like regular milk be holding flavor with better mm -hmm. when it comes to cereal. But I don't be fucking with cereal like that, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, most definitely. Um, so what's your relationship status? Yo, I'm single as fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we've been going, child. It's been a relationship type of day for for me and her. Ear. Like, I got to pour this shit up because it's like, <laughs> bitch, we should have bought another wine bottle. Look at this shit. Yo, it's literally like juice. So, gone. If you're yeah. not a big drinker. What? Is the percent? It's only five point five. Girl, I know you didn't bring no five point five in here. But because I, I wonder why I don't feel shit. <laughs> I'm over here. Let me take another look. 
All I had today was like some Chips Ahoy cookies in that lunch pool oh, earlier. You're trying to take it slow. So um, yeah, I was man. like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to feel this a little bit. You Plus that little blind. Like, I feel it. I feel the blind. Yeah. I, feel the blind. <laughs> I had to tap that earlier. <laughs> I'm feeling that it. That relationship yeah, status. I feel the blind, bitch, and I'm like. Yeah, it's, it's good, y'all. This is some shit you could take to church and not feel bad about it. Bitch, we drink wine in church now? You know, hell is real hot. You know that? I mean, but they be trying to, you know, give us that fake-ass grape juice. Just switch it out. I'm 21. Like, come on. God understands. He got me this far. Mm-hmm. Well, he did turn water into wine. Yeah. So he should have something. Like, this some shit, you know, you give it to a little baby. He'll be all right. <laughs> you're not gonna be like we're we're fine right next question please <laughs> uh what is your social that you would like to share so, so that everyone can follow you more oh man you know what go to my facebook it's samantha if you can't spell that i'm sorry my last name is horton yes like here's a who it's not that funny anymore we used to laugh about it <laughs> Follow me. That's where you can find me. That's where I need you to connect with me at Facebook. Okay. okay. And I'll link everything down below. So you're going to follow her. And remember to follow some of House podcasts on YouTube. Please subscribe because, you know, grow. And please follow us on Instagram. And follow me, Kamori Simone, on my Instagram as well. Thank you. So we're going to hop right on into this story time. Like, what, what would you like to call this type of story time, ma'am? <clears throat> Are we together, but we not together? Ooh, no, is it that's... death for wit or death to be? Is it you not my nigga, but you is my nigga? Is that what it's given? Am I your ghetto, am I your ghetto Valentine's baby? Just say like that. Probably something like... <laughs> Almost baby daddy. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about you and this Negro. <laughs> this is a story. I'm right. I'm ready to. So what's his? What we not? We don't disclose name here because we don't have enough money to get stewed, ho. So let's call him. Wyatt. Okay, we talk. <laughs> I know why you chose it, man. <laughs> you not slick. <laughs> okay. So, how did y'all meet? I was fucking with his friend, or like I was supposed to be, but this is back when like I wasn't really fucking with people. Like I was still a virgin, not really going all the way type shit, you know. So I just what do you mean by like going all the way, like. So like you know, I you had a little bit. Like I'm trying to get ready, get comfortable, like kind of practice whatever if it makes sense. Uh -huh. So, cause I don't want to, you know go in and be like oh i'm about to fuck you and then i don't know how and then i've it's always like, been scared like before like you know let's have this taste or whatever but like i just <laughs> what <laughs> Anywho, like before i you know did or whatever uh have sex I just was like, you always know that bright person that you gonna lose at Virginia. Yeah. Like, we could do shit, but like, I'm not finna fuck you because I'm waiting on somebody. Mine was kind of just like, the way, the stuff you're doing to me, I don't really like it. Mm. It's, it's, and then when I lost my virginity, I realized that it was like a them thing. So kind of what you're talking you about. sex is like... A man's pleasure instead of a woman's pleasure? I feel like they definitely will get more out of it damn near automatically. But even if you're not meant to be together, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, like y'all have that chemistry. So, like, it, it should feel good. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the takeaway because I was like trying to fuck with them and I didn't like that shit. Mm. And then, you know, you start fucking with the other person. You're like, oh, okay, like, I actually like to fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was like that. 
Okay, okay. So you were fucking his homeboy. No, okay, oh, so gosh, never mind. This is this is I'm back. That part out. <laughs> this is when I was still a virgin. <laughs> so I was like talking big shit, but I wasn't really about it. I'd be texting him or whatever, you know, but then when I would just smoke with him, it's like I, I kind of didn't want to, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, uh, then he doing like his little shit and he's just like, uh, no. So that was bad. But then I started stalking his friend. Mm. And then somehow, like, we just ended up linking. I feel like I stopped talking to. You slid in that DM. He kind of slid in mine. Mm. But I'm on his page, like, you know, looking at the pictures because it, it got the other boy in it. So I'm mm. like, what the fuck he at? Where he doing? What is this? Okay, and then okay. somehow, someway, like, we ended up kind of talking. And then we ended up, like, linking, smoking. Because I was still not really trying to do nothing with him. So we was just, like, smoking, not doing shit for a couple of months before we actually did something. Okay, okay. Mm. Okay, so how did like y'all situationship kind of flow with you and him at first and then what changed? So I wasn't fucking with him because you know like I was just doing, talking to his friend kind of. Mm -hmm. Then there's the other friend. I'm like, oh, you what's, know. What's the other friend's name? Secret name, bitch. Let's call him Richard. <laughs> call him you Richard. You and these little names, bro. It's cracking me the fuck up. What's so, up? So, why is Richard? And then we'll do another one, Alex. Mm hmm. Yeah, so you know, all of them they are friends and shit. So I'm just I'm just like, I mm, don't oh know. I can't be just <clears throat> to talk to them is already kinda iffy. Giving the cookie up is like mm -hmm. it's gonna limit my options of what I can even do with them. So stalking his page and then we link and after a while, because, you know, he's trying me, but I'm like, yeah, no, like, fuck you. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. After a while, it's just like, I kind of got used to him in a way. So, I, some you somewhere. Why it or? Why, yeah. Kind of got used to him. So, why did you, like, what was, what was so, like, different about Wyatt than Richard? Well, Alex is kind of weird and light skin, and I kind of realize that I don't like light skins that much. I feel like some men are really fucking weird. Like, y'all be doing the weirdest shink shit on a fucking link up. Like, I remember this one link up, like, me and this dude was just talking in the car, whatever. I had on this little wig. It wasn't glued down all the way, bitch. It was one of them glueless wigs. You feel me? Like, it looked good, but bitch. You know, don't take it off. I can't do jumping jacks in this motherfucker. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Who pulls a bitch wig off mid-conversation? I'm thinking you finna rub on my neck and shit. It's whoop. I think he just wanted to see, like, what the fuck was under I'm that shit. I'm in my Alice and Ivory braids, bitch. <laughs> I'm in my little dead ace. I feel like he was just like, let me I'm see, like... Is this it bitch? was giving Bow Wow, bitch, because I ain't had no weird cap or nothing. If she's bald-headed or, like, what? Like, no. he can't have his kids out here just bare. Bro, who takes off a wig, me, in conversation? Like, yeah, baby, I got you. Let me. He probably just, I don't even fucking know, girl. Like, that's weird. I was probably smacking the fuck out that nigga, honestly. I was shell shocked. My mouth was open for probably, like, a minute. Damn. He was like, what's up? I said, bro, like, you just snatched my wig off. Like, I don't know what to do. What did he, and then was you just like, what the fuck? And he was just like, oh, yeah. I was like, I put that bitch right back on. What the fuck? What was I supposed to do? Just have, bitch, I put it right Shit. back on. Shit, I mean, at that point, he done seen you. I ain't gonna lie, he done seen you. I don't care if you see the real me. I'm gonna <laughs> still put on this shit. <laughs> Girl, nah. Mm -mm. That ain't never happened to you. 
No, I don't feel like a dude. Just line and get some consultation. I mean, like, my brother has, like, smacked my head. My damn fake-ass little bun done rolled off. But not that. Not Niggas that. Niggas doing wigs and shit. And what's another thing they be doing, like, on a link up that's just fucking. I feel weird. like just touching and shit. Like, they just so, like. Especially if you barely know a nigga. Like, why is you touching? Yeah, because, you know, I'm so. I'm only five foot. Niggas can just feel like they can they do whatever the fuck. Like, throw you the fuck around, bitch. Yeah, so, so like, little. I linked up and he's, like, pulling me on his lap and I'm like, I sit up a little bit. Uh-huh. I can't even like get off his ass or nothing like he got me and I'm like what the fuck this shit not funny I feel like I'm over here about to fight for my life at some point mm. so you know what's another thing like before the link up though why randomly you messaging me about come see you spending the night let's so, see six Ooh. foot two hundred pounds not six hundred pounds that's a big motherfucker Oh, this little five percent will do it to you on the eight percent. Ain't gonna care. I don't like how niggas be trying to like invite me, and you don't even know me. Like that's weird as fuck. Like I know you just want to fuck, but goddamn, you mean to tell me you're literally you don't know me, and you gonna invite me to your house? I'm not coming. But why? Bruh, a nigga done told me he wanted to blow in my butt hole. And then he was like, yeah, you know, come pack a bag, spend the night. And I'm like, nigga, why the fuck would I ever do that? Niggas blowing butt holes still? I guess the fuck so. And of course, he was ugly as fuck. And he made me, like, I just had to block his ass. You just fell off rip. He be blowing at other bitches' blow. Uh, oh my god. Oh, he just felt though. I didn't look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't let him do that shit. I fucking blocked his ass. Because I'm like, I'm not about to go over there, pack a bag. I don't fucking know you spend the night. Okay, okay. Then it sound like you got hella shit going on in the background. Like you stay in, in the fucking hood. Like, I, no. You know what's, what's one thing? How niggas be having their own spot and they be quick to like fuck up like they just be like oh like y'all could pull up whenever like or like they be wanting you to play house the first night. Mm-mm. What the fuck? Mm-mm. I don't know you. That's weird. I feel like sometimes people are too comfortable though. Like if you know your house is not that clean or whatever you just like oh go in the kitchen and make your own shit like girl boy nigga like mm. that's weird i never went over a nigga house one time and like i, I was tweety birds over this motherfucker i was like yeah babe i'm gonna cook you breakfast or whatever so i went in the kitchen birds literally net everlands in that motherfucker Nets just everywhere. Mm. Dirty dishes up to here, my nigga. No pots and pans. Who the fuck don't own no pots and pans? Yeah, nah. Then it's like, damn, you knew you ain't have them and you just gonna let me go in there? That's weird. Hell the fuck no. So I didn't know what else happened. Like, y'all just be doing some weird shit on the link up. Like, I can't really think about another. But y'all are mad weird, though. Yeah, I just feel like it's the touching shit. Like, so fucking often it's just your hands is there. You trying to rub on a bitch ass. You trying to do all this other shit. You fucking grabbing and pulling. It's yeah. like, what the fuck? Like, bro, I just met you. Let's have conversations. Like, that's what I'm saying. And then it's like, they just be... You want to so, put your fingers everywhere and shit, like. <laughs> like, bruh. Y'all be really calling weird. us hoes and sluts, but y'all the, y'all the real hoes. Like, y'all the real sluts. Any motherfucker that calls me, tells me, come fuck you, this and that, you're a slut. I don't care what nobody said. Men are whores. They are. Men are fucking whores. Sorry to bash y'all like this, but men are fucking whores. Like, who the first link you fucking? 
<laughs> you got yeah. something for me? And it's like, how often do you do, do this shit? And then, like, do you be wearing a condom? Probably yeah, nah. not. Let me feel it. <sighs> Bitch, feel what? Right, yeah. Very weird, like. Mm-mm. Nah, like, that shit's weird as shit. So, with the watch out, damn, we was talking about the story time. When we stop, bro, I'm high. This shit right now. That roll shoe good. You gonna roll up again, ho? Yeah. So what else happened? Oh, okay. So she has a story time about like how this dude. It's like, where the fuck do I even start? Come as woman to woman with the shit as well. It's just it's like. So when he was dealing with like the other girl, like was it like mad awkward? He just bringing bitches to the crib and like you know that shit. Like, like, how do you feel about that? I was really just like, I don't know. I'm just like, why not break up with her? Be single, right? Mm -hmm. And then we can both fuck you. Yeah, I hate how people, y'all be in relationships and shit. And y'all fucking other people. Y'all single? What the fuck y'all doing? Yeah, because like either I... Way, if she cheating, you gonna cheat. It's back and forth. Like, that shit's yeah. toxic. See, because like, I've never been in a relationship, so I don't know. But I just... The way I am, I know it's like, if I don't like you, I'm probably not gonna want to be around you. So it's like, if I'm cheating on you or something, mm -hmm. I'm probably not, I'm not fucking with you. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why? how can I be around you? Like, why even date you? I'll probably just be single or some shit. Okay, okay. And then it's like, y'all get together and break up so fucking often. It's like, you know, something is going on. Like, it's an actual problem type shit. Mm -hmm. And because I haven't even known you for that long. I like an unstable couple, though, because, like, if I got my eye on a nigga, I ain't gonna count. Yeah, because I'm, I'm in it for the, I was, I'm at this. I was always pretty much in it for the day. I'm like, always scouting. Just on the lookout, like whenever I need it, you know, just hit me up you or like whatever. Like that motherfucker. <laughs> like just hit me up, like you know. Period. Mm -hmm. Do what you want with her. I don't give a fuck. You gonna do it anyway. Oh. But you know. Yeah, we should have bought two bottles because. The fact that it tastes like grape juice, I'm just throwing it back. <laughs> it's only like, I think it was like 15. Which is kind of, do you think that's expensive? For wine, no. Okay. It's like in between. Yeah, because I do know there's like hella fucking expensive ass bottles. Like, that's not, that's not expensive as expensive. No. Mm -mm. But like, how do you feel about women um, or men, you know? if you date both genders how do you feel about them having like you like y'all have something going on but like you know you're not the only woman i've never been in that situation so me personally i kind of feel like i was a late bloomer mm -hmm. i didn't lose my virginity till i was 20. no it was like not just virginity wise but like like how do you just like how do you feel when you know like you're you're not the only person that they're talking to I really or dealing with i don't life. like that shit and it's like i do get that you could just say no go to somebody else mm -hmm. but at the same time it's like you're gonna want to be fucking with somebody regardless mm -hmm. so sometimes you're just like oh you're like oh okay you know i'll be I fuck with them anyway. Mm -hmm. But really, you just want them to not do that shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like once you get to a certain point, if you're talking, talking, then you should really be focusing like on each other, not really other people, you know? When is the perfect time to be exclusive? Like, me, I value exclusivity. Like. When I want you, I want you with me. Like, you're my, you're like, you my little, yeah. You ain't nobody, uh, bitch, I'm drunk. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't nobody else, yeah, but mine. I feel as though, like, keep it a buck with me. Be honest with me. Don't, don't be, don't be giving nobody else your time, your energy, none of that shit. Like, because 
bitch we're together we're Bruh. together like it's no like oh blah 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 after a while or after like different boundaries or different time has been crossed like after four months four to six months we're in a relationship bro me i'm such like a lover girl like i said never been in a relationship but the way i've always felt when i have been wanting to fuck with somebody and shit i feel like it could be two maybe three months you know and then if they really fucking with you and you feel like it, you can be dating. I mean, you can be dating sooner. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's all right here. I think we was talking about, like, uh, the story time and then... Yeah. Okay, so, like, how did you feel about, like, your little dude, like... Because we was watching something earlier about polygamy. And how uh, yeah. some niggas is just uncomfortable. I How some like, niggas are comfortable with polygamy, but females are uncomfortable with polygamy. He definitely, uh, they just feel like they should be like, oh, I'm going to fuck you and fuck you and fuck you. And yeah. then like y'all all get along. But like, that's definitely not how that shit like, would go. If you can't handle one bitch, what make you think you can handle like six? Also? Then they want to be like, it's all a fairy tale. We uh, sister wives and this motherfucker holding hands in the sand. And shit, like, bro, I I will choke every bitch you fuck with. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, I will, no, that's not that's not good. Yeah, I, on top of that, like, niggas like, uh, niggas like authoritative shit, authority. Yeah, like this, my pussy, like. This is my pussy. <laughs> no, like, it's just, they always want to be in control, bruh. And I don't understand that. It's, that's not how no, no relationship like that would even go down. They would be arguing so fucking much about every little thing. They would not be able to handle that shit. Yeah. I don't like how when, when like, when I do it, it's a problem. But when you do it, like, it's okay. Like, I can't be fucking other niggas. You smoking my while we talking. Um. <laughs> like, I can't fuck other niggas, but you could fuck 10, 12 hoes. You feel me? Like, some men be thinking that shit cool. Like, oh, you know, I don't want you doing this because we together or like you know we got going on and like she nothing to me if she's nothing to you then why are you fucking her and i feel like niggas are weird because it's like when it comes to shit like that like us fucking other people they just be like oh you know i don't They're care disgusted. if you yeah they don't oh i don't care if you do it but when you do do it they don't like you as oh, much. oh very much oh but they don't care oh okay very much very much be all in their feelings then they will, they will switch up on you if they know you fucking other niggas like me. Mm. Like now I'm anybody can have me. Bruh, and let's not get started on them goddamn plugs, okay? Plugs, like when you don't want to fuck with them and they've been trying to fuck with you, they gonna get your ass up out of there. For real? It, yes, yeah. I feel like some plugs, like when they don't want to fuck with you, like when they see like, oh, I can't flirt with shorty or shorty ain't like, you know, trying to tap my line only for some weed. I'm not going to get her no free weed. I ain't finna sorry this bitch no more. Yeah, exactly. Like I was, because I've always tried to keep a couple of plugs. Like sometimes I just add people, forget I add them for that. You know, I'm going back to somebody to buy. So I'm like, damn, I ain't heard about this dude in a while. Like I ain't seen no post or nothing. Let me know my phone. your ass. No. I think, yeah. <laughs> Either unfriended or blocked my ass. And I'm like, damn, because, like, you was trying to fuck with me. And I didn't want to. Like, you know, I'm not asking you to front and then running off. Like, I'm giving you your shit. Mm. Yeah, plugs be doing some weird shit, too. You won't serve me no more. Or, like, you harassing me, talking about something. Pull up. Or, like, let me pull up and serve you real quick. Girl, at no, 2 a.m., get the fuck on her. Hit my line. I got deals. 
you hit them up as soon as you like, oh, I don't want to buy it, but oh, but you find as fuck you cute. This is yeah. Don't or you like, got a baby on the way? Bro, this one plug was feeling me so hard. He gave me damn near 10 grams. Really? For free weed. Bitch. First link up. First link up, we just went on a date, then talk, then fuck, then none of this shit. Like, tried too hard. And then after the day, I was like, I'm really not looking for a man. Am I the problem? <laughs> Bruh, you kind of got to. Like I said, I didn't do nothing with nobody until after I had graduated. I was already 18. Like, I really wasn't out here doing shit. Then I just feel like once I graduated, people really, really started paying more attention to me in that way. Mm -hmm. So... I kind of just, I feel like I got thrown into that. Like, I wasn't really prepared. But then again, like, I don't know. When you fuck around with a plug, I wouldn't recommend unless you want that type of lifestyle or, like, whatever. When you fucking with the plug, though, like, that lifestyle get old because you have to worry about, like, if he turn into your actual nigga, if he go to jail, what you gonna do? Or, like, if somebody run up on you, what you gonna do? Shit like that. Like, it brings that type of mindset over you. Like, I never want to date nobody who is a plug. Like, it's nothing wrong with, like, selling drugs or, like, hustling. But if we talking honest, that is a serious game that no grown-ass woman wants to play with. I feel like, for me, it's more like if they're known... And then also if they be beefing with folks, you know, type shit. Yeah, like, Cause I can't... Be like, it's a lot of niggas on Facebook, you know. We we know their ass. Mm -hmm. Or mutual, whatever the fuck. And they just be like, always in some shit, you know. They be talking about the ops. They be posted up with guns, like, every fucking day. But and why it's like, is it always the ops? I'm, like, y'all can niggas sell drugs. ops and shit, like... Why is drug dealing so territorial? You can sell and drugs and not be, be into that shit. And just be like, oh, they they watch it for me, nigga. You only get five likes on your pictures. Who the fuck is watching you? But I can't do that shit either. Like you be fucking with somebody and then nigga run up. Yeah, I can't. Like drug dealers, I get that. Like everyone is has pure intentions, but like. Plugs, like, I'm kind of going on y'all real quick because, like, I'm not going to say how many hoes have you tried this shit with, but, like, why do you feel as though my my presence come easier to you? Like, drug dealers, they have everything handed to them with money. They can buy almost anything, depending on how much money they make, and they have access to a lot of things. So why do you think my presence come easy to you? I'm gonna make you work for it. Yeah. And I feel like you gotta outsmart the plug, bitch. You ever heard run off on the plug, bitch? Yeah, I have before. Mm hmm Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> You've heard the song or you ran off, bitch? Both. Oh, <laughs> It wasn't nothing serious. I just, I just like blocked his ass and was like, I just forgot to pay. Like, <laughs> hey, like, ain't no way you talking to me and shit and forget your motherfucking money. Who's about to ass? Fuck Had him. your money ready? Yeah, because he had let me front and then I was at work and, you know, I fucking struggled to get to that motherfucker in the first place. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll get off at this time. He's like, oh, okay, where you at? Da, da, da. So I'm talking about this. And then the last thing he says is, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, mm, all right. And then I get off and then I use that shit to go the fuck home because I'm like, you should have came and got your shit. Oh my God. I told you I wasn't coming to give it to you. All he said was okay. And then he was trying to call me the next day, like, bitch, you're blocked now. It's gone. You're not getting it. Then, when he did from me, he was trying to give me, you know, some booty-ass weed. Mm, I hate when a plug gets stiff on you or be good on you because they they going to serve you. They probably going to serve you because they still want your money. But when I tell you, they will give you some stiff bottom of the zip weed, bitch, if you reject them. It's like, damn. The brownest of the brown. You so you didn't want me anyway. Yeah, it's like damn, and you that you definitely be salty. Niggas about shit. be doing the most like, in the beginning, and literally will fuck you, 
and be like, bro, I want shit to do with you. Like, what the like, fuck? Like, my nigga, I'm paying for this shit. It's nigga. the same 20 fucking dollars. And like, no, not even that. Like, even if they like give you weed and they the fucking plug. And yeah, they probably giving you free weed. But like, yo, you take my money still. But like, in the beginning, you wanted to fuck with me. It wasn't no other way around. And now when after you fuck me, you let me go. Or you be like, oh, I ain't really feeling this. What the fuck? Like, niggas be bamboozling the coochie. Yeah, like, they be kind of sick in the head. Just be like, oh, <laughs> I love you, or I'm, I'm you know, like, I'm you just. Babe, you know, I really, I really like where this is going. Or, like, you want me cuddled up. You be like, I like you over here because you just fit and you just small and you this and that. And you. And, and then, after like, we fuck, it should be like, bro, I don't want to spend time. I don't want to do shit. Oh, I'm just a bitch out here in these streets, huh? Oh. Yeah. One thing that my mother did t teach me is never be where you're unwanted and leave when you're unwanted. Versus them telling you that you're not wanted because when it comes to time where the true colors come out and you feel like you're unwanted, just fucking leave because it's better for them to show you their actions versus they tell you straight up. And when, even if they tell you, go go for their word. Because, like, it's crazy how some men will literally try to pursue you and try to want to be with you. And, you know, basically linger you in. It will make you catch feelings, make you feel safe and snatch that motherfucker like it was nothing. Yeah. Like, all that energy did you put in, like... And have you exhausted? And like, I'm an empath. So my feelings get involved deeply, my nigga. So like, when when you have feelings for me, you showing you care, and you showing that you know you interest, I'm like, yo, I rock with you. But when you cross me, or like you switch up on me, I can't fuck with that. I really can't fuck with that. Y'all be out here giving me like chance after chance but won't even give your friend a fucking chance bro uh, i'm blocking the fuck out of you like i don't give a fuck like oh shit the <laughs> bitch we gonna have to go to the liquor store mine got cheap looking for good uh with your little 15 Oop. Fifteen dollar okay. wine. This shit was so good though. Yeah, like this is definitely like thirty minutes and it's gone. Forty yeah, it's maybe. Red electric Moscato. Again, if you're not a big drinker, kind of okay. Yeah, and it's from Quandy. Q U A D Y, and it's a sweet and mm, it's so far me wine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you pronounced it, motherfucker. It's French. <laughs> Red Electro Moscato. <laughs> what? That one. I don't know how to say this shit. Aperitif wines. And it's like... Where is it? Cherry, berry, pomegranate. So, you know. Shit like that. really good guys they have like a um white version i've never had it though i assume it's even more sweet than this so okay. yeah. so um it's like fancy arbor mist i never had arbor mist before it's very cheap that shit's like eight dollars between but you know what? It's really the blunt that complements the wine, not the wine complementing the blunt. It's some fucking tropical fusion. I don't like that shit, but it was 99 cent and we was balling on the budget. So. The weed or the? The the, the, the the rolling paper? Yeah. Bro, it gotta be the weed. It gotta be the weed. Yeah, I don't think it's this. I don't like the tropical. Bitch, I'm gone. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I 
Been stuck. Anywho. Why are you not in a relationship? I don't know. I think I have problems. I just like, don't. Why are you honestly not in a relationship? I just don't be talking to people really. Okay. Like when I first started having sex, like I just felt like, oh, like, you know, everybody's already done it. So like, let me try to fuck a couple different people that I've had just like sitting around, like not really doing nothing with. I didn't like that shit. One of them was really bad. I made him stop. Mm. Um, very bad. I don't you, like- You stopped mid like sex? Yeah. You remember that meme where she was like Netflix is buffering. She's uh, <laughs> she <laughs> she's uh, Netflix is buffering and she uh, changes her mind. <laughs> is she running out the room? Is it? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Terrible. I'm good, bro. <laughs> It was that fucking me, bruh. Like, that shit had me dead as fuck. No, nah, but. Mm. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this is definitely the past the blunt episode. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Bro, how did it, how long did it last? Oh uh, yeah, like why you're not in a relationship, and then I'll discuss why I'm not. I just feel like I don't really be talking to people. Like since I was fucking with him, I was just like, oh, let me just keep it like just this. Mm -hmm. That's obviously all I can fucking handle. As I get older, I just feel like relationships aren't even important anymore. Like I guess when I was younger, I used to gas that shit up, but like honestly, I just want some attention. I want dates. I want you to cater to me. And I really just want attention. Like, why the fuck we gotta be in a relationship? You feel me? Like, I I understand, you know, I, I'm just not, I'm not the we just fucking type of bitch now. But I feel as though, if we taking it slow, taking our time, and you know, we're being respectable about it, shit like that, you shouldn't have a problem with that, you know? Yeah. Just wanting some attention. And honestly, I can call you whenever. You could pull up whenever, and we do what we do, and we leave. Still, wine and dine cater me. I'm not saying I want like relationship shit without the cut, without the title, but it's definitely not something that's just. Oh, I want to be like in a relationship. Like, I think I'm just really cool on it. I do. I feel like I do want a relationship, but I just. And change my location to the city I was gonna stop at before I got there, okay. match with people, and find a plug. Uh -huh. So then I would go pull up, and they would just be like flirting with me and shit. They'd be trying to give me extra weed. I like dipped on a nigga before, I didn't even pay his ass. Then I paid somebody before. He was like, Oh, well, just like hand me this jar, and he filled it up halfway. He's like, Yeah, like you can just have that for a week. It's giving one off on a plug. But I was trying so hard, and I was like, I'm not letting nobody fuck me. Like, I don't even know these folks. But why are you picky when it comes to relationships? In your own words. I'm just very peculiar. You know, like, I, I can't have just anybody rubbing up on me. Can't have anybody up in my face. Mm. Sometimes the nigga don't be shit, but it's just what my body will fucking allow like if that makes sense mm -hmm. so that's how i feel about that everybody i be seeing i really don't like their ass mm. it's just something about them that's like oh no i, I wouldn't fuck with them so i'll be passing i'll be passing bro mm -hmm. okay okay can't do it do you well, okay, so the the reason why I'm not in a relationship is because it's just hard for me to really connect with people. Like, I'm just not fitting my type of man lately. Like, yeah. everyone is just the same. But then again, I heard the same where you reflect what you are. Am I not shit? No. <laughs> it's definitely... <laughs> 
Why you saying no like that? It's oh. definitely the city we are in. Like, you sure it's the city? It's slim fucking pickings okay. here. It's slim pickings. It's either a baby daddy, a nigga with a with an okay job, but he's still gonna cheat on you. Or it's just like it's a bum stuck on his gonna ass. ass for everything, and you gonna be in a relationship with yourself because you gonna be the provider. You you gonna be everything. Like, that shit terrible as fuck, bro. Mm-mm. That's crazy. So that's why I'm not in a relationship because. I, I'm just I don't really have any options like that I'm never really running into people who just sparks my interest or anything I'm just more or less like yeah we fuck with each other but don't tell nobody <laughs> <laughs> I know that it's fucked up but like that's exactly how that like shit be because it's just like bro like not to sound like crazy or not I'm, I'm a little celebrity like <laughs> Not too much. Everybody gonna everybody don't got no business, but we're gonna take pictures like this. No man. Low key. Just don't even you gotta take pictures of the floor and shit. Oh nah, the hoes be doing that. Why the fuck you doing that shit? You taking pictures in the carpet and shit? You can't you taking, let them know you where taking, you at. You taking pictures in the motherfucking kitchen and shit? You can't let them know where you at, bro. I don't know. You letting exactly who motherfuckers know you at. The carpet? If you the you car- taking pictures of the carpet, the fucking table, in the kitchen, posted up. Nah. Talking bro. about something. I got shorty making me breakfast. Why the fuck you do that? Like y'all really be doing the most. Like bro. the hoes be hoeing. Cause like why? Why every time y'all be at a bitch house, y'all want to take a picture of shit? It don't even be the bitch. It just be like simple ass shit. But I'm not letting no Y'all one take no fuck. picture of me, period. Bro, like... Period. You got that awkward, like... Uh, can I... Can we make a video shit? Like, have a nigga ever, like, randomly be like, let me record... Oh, my God, Bro, yes! Do not record this shit! And if I feel a camera, I want to <laughs> ass. Bro... Fuck yes, I... You ever got that weird question, let me record you? Like, how does that shit feel? My baby. <laughs> Had to fix it like me. He texted me, and I was like, hell no. Like, oh, he asked fuck? you that shit to text. One person did, it. but all I did was give him head, and I was like, no. And then the second person, I was like, bruh, hell no. Like, but he didn't even ask. He just tried to, like, whip that shit out and record me. I'm like, nigga, I will bite your motherfucking kneecaps off. He said, what's off. up, Forrest? Come on. Right. I was like, damn, like. What nigga said? Am I really, like, doing How that shit? How the fuck he was talking the phone, though? Okay. Well, he was, like, you know, laid, laid out like that. They probably can't see you, though. Oh, fuck. Lay it, it, like, this way. How? Okay. So he laid down. Hold on, hold on. We're going to cut that out. You see you all laid up and shit? Tuck, this, tuck that part behind right here. Okay. 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 <laughs> so how he was how he was laid up? So he's laid across. Yeah. Head over here feet down here let's say that uh-huh so then i like right here ah uh, how was i i think it was just like this you know Bitch. and then like bent over oh oh but i had my leg back so you know like i'm i'm ah. like, so i'm doing my shit i'm doing whatever and he was recording and he just said like fucking light on and everything oh. i'm like what the fuck so I push that shit off. I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? No, like, <laughs> where the fuck y'all be keeping y'all phone? Cause I could have swore that motherfucker was on the dresser a few moments ago. <laughs> you been having it in your ass sheet, bruh? They probably put like the case on the the stand and then have they just switch and that ass. Not the pussy got men boots on it. No, but I was just like, damn, like. Is that really what you thought this was? And yeah, I'm let's just... Let's make a sex tape, man. 
and I'm normal as fuck. So it's like. <laughs> Where the fuck did this come from? Like, yeah. I don't even be and doing And then, nothing. bro, y'all ask the stupidest question. You want me to record it on your phone or mine? Bro, hurry up before I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like it. No, he's so weird. Like, he's just like, so. Y'all, let's do my phone so I can delete the motherfucker after. So fucking manipulative. Because I'm like, you know, I'm trying to ask him to do some shit. And he had asked me before. And he's like, oh, no. And then he's gonna ask about it later, like, bruh, if I give you the okay and I tell you to do it, why you don't do it? Why do you want to talk about this shit later? Like, it's over with now. Mm -hmm. The moment is gone. Like, I feel like he just want me to do what he want me to do. Mm. Yeah, y'all can be manipulative in sex because, like, y'all can start off real slow, real seductive. And it's just like, you fucking me you like who pussy this is like i'm not answering the questions nigga i came here for one thing and one only like you asking me questions that you can't even take the heat with you i'm just saying stop asking who pussy this shit is if you don't want to try the real answer stop asking that shit even Bruh. if we together bro don't ask me that shit even if we're together. Even when we're together, don't ask me who pussy this is. I'm not going to say nothing every trip. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so. T do you well, be. What? Do you be doing that? Well, he's never asked. Do you, do you answer the question when they ask who pussy this is? No. See, not. why did you fuck with me? Because <laughs> I just be like, I don't know. They haven't really asked, honestly. Mm. I don't I, know. I feel like, and I, niggas have told me like, come on, you're just a wifey type. Like, I'm like, I am. I'm, I, I'm not in my villain era yet. Like, or maybe I just don't come off to it with them. But I feel like I'm definitely in my in my villain era. I just feel as though I make it so good to where y'all don't even know about each other. Bro, I... You think you the only one. I love making a nigga feel like they the only one. The more you feel relaxed, the less I got to answer, Bookies. And if I feel, don't feel like talking about it, well, I'm not going to answer that question who pussy it is. I'm definitely not gonna be here. You deserve mm -mm. peace. Mm -mm. Maybe. <laughs> oh my god, maybe. Okay. Okay, so we back, and I do have another guest for you. He's a hopping on the couch. He's a familiar face. I got Quan. I know how you been, Quan, since last episode. I've been, I've been fine. You been fine? Yeah. Okay, okay. We live right now? Hell yeah, we live. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> do it. So me and Sam was talking about how, why do men pursue women who they just have an interest on fucking? Mm. How what? you doing? I, let I mean, I let y'all go first, you feel me? So I let y'all, like, like, what y'all think? It's our fault that we fall for the booby trap. I mean, on this shit, say it's a booby trap. Like, you know, you got to test the water, like. But why y'all change our mind after we fuck, though? Because it might not be, like, what, what we expected. Like, that's like saying you could for something, but you don't know, like, what you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you got to give it a trial run, trial and error. You know what I'm saying? If you like it, then you pursue it. If you don't like it, then you did, it did what it did. Yeah. Me personally, I can't speak for every man, but yeah, like, yeah. Well, I just feel like y'all be going too far, like, with the whining and dining. You know we kind of feeling you now, so I'm my guard all the way down. Like, I'm letting you get in this pussy knee deep, and then you tell me I don't want a relationship. And then you talking about I be tripping when I be acting crazy. You was just knee deep in this pussy, nigga. What the fuck you mean? You don't want to be together. I mean. I just, yeah. <laughs> Definitely niggas do be like scheming and scamming. Yeah, it's like, like y'all be bamboozling the pussy. <laughs> I wouldn't say bamboozle. Like, 
Okay, we say we're on the relationship, right? Well, we still treating you good, you feel me? Like you said, taking you on dates. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, that's cool. That's all fine. Nah, for, like, like, all that shit stop after you get the pussy. Like, it's finito. It's fucking done. I mean... Never in a Like, we just fucking after. Ain't shit. Like, you saw me in a relationship, man. Like, we ain't doing shit. Why do y'all do that? I say no coochie for them after that. You no coochie. No coochie in no time. Yeah. I mean, I have should be for y'all, but like... <laughs> y'all, y'all don't know. First of all, it's 50-50 now. Because <laughs> y'all not put all these on the men. You feel me? Like, okay, y'all know what they want. Y'all can't just keep fucking on the end. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's not fair. Now, I will say, like, I have my moments where, like, I just want to fuck. So, like, you know, I, I'm like... I'm, we might not even go on a date. I might just straight up cook for you and then fuck. And then just be like, all right, what you doing after this type shit? You feel me? Like, so uh, where you going after this? So it's the same thing for a man. So like, say, she be doing the fuck. We might smoke with you. Your fuck. She might take But why y'all don't be saying that shit off rip that you just want to fuck? Because, like, you just don't want to fuck somebody. You don't want to, well, me personally, you don't want to fuck in the vibe. Not but right. you told me you wanted a relationship, though. That's oh, the crazy part. You might be just like, I'm just saying, like, that's crazy. Y'all be pursuing a woman and then y'all fuck around and be like, I just want to fuck, like, do the pussy be trash or, like, do you just not see yourself with that person anymore? Like, what is it about y'all be doing that after y'all get some pussy? I don't know. I don't know. That's, she, everybody different. So okay, how you be? How do I be? Mm-hmm. How you be? Explain the question again so I can, like, I can break it down for you. Like, never mind, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you ever know that you asked a nigga a question? And what's our question they asked me going deaf? Yeah, they just be wanting to. Y'all, you just be turning off and asking different questions. I just want to make sure I interpret the question right. <laughs> That's it. That's the only thing, like. I'm sorry we ain't got no wine for you. I ain't tripping, it's crazy. We're gonna go to the lick star real quick anyway after this. Yeah, Get sure. you right. But like, y'all be doing some wild shit. Oh, boy. we do have some pita and some hummus. Fuck is it? Samantha, you gonna be eating that shit on your own? Ain't gonna care. <laughs> Bro, I you thought know that hummus. You like hummus? Who? Don't you be eating healthy stuff? I eat healthy stuff, but you ain't never seen me eat no ground up beans smashed yeah. up. We're like dry. That's how hummus is. Mm hmm. Uh uh. I don't eat hummus. What the fuck? A bean? Like what type of beans? It's like chickpeas. Mm hmm. Talking about that green shit? No. No, nah, it's macho. The fuck is macho? I don't I don't, I don't, I don't how, you, how you look good at workout? You be eating bullshit, bro. Shit, you yeah. <laughs> Like, you, you do bad bulk up or you do healthy bulk ups? Definitely. A little bit of bulk Or you just eat what you want. I ain't gonna lie, I really eat what I want. Like, I ain't. Is it portion control for you or no? I'd be going stupid. Like, okay. It's just like, really? Well, I know you train real hard. Yeah. He train real hard. So is that what you do then? Like, you I mean, you know? I, I really eat what I want. Like, but if I did, like, portion my shit, you right, like, but I don't, I don't do that. You like being built, not more as lean. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I was both before. Like, I've been very lean before, like, real cut up. Mm -hmm. But I've I also been big in here, like, mm -hmm. I was way bigger than this before. Like, muscle big. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was way bigger than this before. But it's like, it's down like, in the middle. Or, like, I've been, right now, I've been real lean. I've been real bold. This is like, probably, like, the middle. Okay. Like, I still kind of, like, got my shit, but I still got a little pack on me type shit. Okay. Right. And it looks nice. It looks nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We won't be in there some some like that next year. I gotta get slim first. We? Yes, did you say we? We, the niggas is gonna be outside this summer. <laughs> Shit. No, I had, I had to We make just sure. gonna leave you on the couch. Me and Quan gonna go work out. We can do that for sure. Yeah, I'm like a real. We gonna drag your ass in there. Like, just natural. 
work out if that makes sense just by the shit I like been walking doing. yes because i walk okay to and from places like all the fucking okay time. okay so like yeah i'm still kind of fat but like my my legs are a little bit tall they're strong as fuck yeah, they're, they're little strong they're strong as fuck <laughs> you can't fuck out somebody with your legs <laughs> mm -mm. but okay so our next topic what's your perfect like balance times like, how do you ask somebody, like, can you be my valentine? Because I feel like you really just have to, like, you know put what? your spice on I a woman. I feel like I've never put asked. Put your spice on a woman, like. I've never asked. And I've never been asked. But I feel like if I were in a relationship, it'd be nice to ask. Like, it'd be kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. But I would be going out and getting you shit regardless you know mm -hmm. so it's like some people be like oh like they have to ask and it's like a really big thing for them but i feel like i would be getting them shit anyway like here's your fucking breakfast like here's a fucking bouquet or whatever the fuck girl. yeah so it's like oh wait crying like gifts and shit so <laughs> Woman, a trick on him. I mean, I'm more of a pussy and some soft type of gal. <laughs> shit, I no. mean, you can get a, a kiss on the forehead type of bitch for me after I open shit. all my gifts. I just be like, so where my shit at? I'm just saying, like, that's Thank what you, we man. own. That's what we own. You know what I'm saying? Cause, like, yeah, okay. I'm gonna yeah, definitely yeah. love a trick. I love a trick. Like, yeah, she gonna spend money, but like, I'm gonna spend money too. Yeah, like I hope that's how that shit would be. But some people like they really feel like them asking and stuff is really just important. Yeah, like, one like, thing I you you finna get swallowed in the balloon. Literally, Sit like they keep bit. they coming, they're coming for me. Like, okay, how do you feel about like people in relationships be asking for kings to be my Valentine and then get upset? Might tell him no. Yeah, no, like we in a relationship and I gotta ask, are you by Valentine and you get upset? I never understood that. Like, why do couples get upset when you don't ask them, can you be my Valentine? Like, nigga, we go together. Yeah, I guess I feel like it's an important, like, little That's extra money we process or something like that, but it's like shit. Yeah. I just expect all my gifts on the 14th. So you expect gifts too? I expect everything to be decked out, either my house, your crib, or a hotel, or you got something planned for us. You got dinner put to the tea, plus what we doing after dinner. And not no just no movies. We better be going to a painted silk, to a lounge, something. So you want to like <clears throat> organize like yes. Yes, I love a nigga who all about his shit. Like, you got a whole, what is it called? Fuck, you know them, that list when you go on vacation? Itinerary? Yeah, you got a whole itinerary for me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, but I thought it was a good <laughs> I feel like people. Yeah. <laughs> Like in a Quite way, over here sober and hey, I'm chilling, man. It's straight. <laughs> Ain't true. It's just like spending time together, you know, doing things. It's not just yeah. here's a necklace. Like that's cute because you keep that shit forever or whatever. But like you know, spending the day with them, doing shit. Yeah. You know, you can have like a little self care day if you want. No, I know some men. They be like, damn, why we gotta celebrate Valentine's Day when I'm doing this shit anyway? That's really sad. Why, why y'all be thinking like that? It's a celebration of fucking love. Yeah, but then again, it's really all about us, to be honest. I might feel like it's really not, though. Like, it's I probably, mean, it's, it's all about you all, too. It's, but a, like, it's about the couple. As women whole. get catered. Yeah, it's definitely like time. catering to females, yeah. but... If you really about that, like, if it's literally the day of fucking love, it doesn't just have to be couples. It can be, like, you know, other relationships, like your fucking daughter or something. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a celebration of love. Now, how do you think on that point? I feel like you were trying to say something. No, I'm just saying, like, I feel like y'all are right to an extent. Most definitely is uh -huh. about the women. But 
it's supposed you really supposed to be like like you said love like so it's not necessarily just revolve one gender it's supposed to be like if you're a couple it's going to take that for the couple or if you got kids you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you you loving your kids you going you giving your kid extra love on that day or playing whatever you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. i feel about it i like buying my mama a gift for valentine's like y'all did that before it'd be sweet i'm such a sweet baby i ain't never did that sorry mama. oh well <laughs> I might get a gift now. See? <laughs> I mean, didn't you get her something for uh, Mother's Day? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah you're supposed to do that, that, but like, get your mama something for like Valentine's Day. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, no, she probably don't be with her little year. Quantum man of the house, he don't play that shit. Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, your mama be getting dressed up like. <laughs> She'll be doing that. I feel like you be asking all type of questions. No, I'm not for real. I'd be like. She really she be asking me all type of questions. She be like she come in be like how to look how to look with the woo. I be like I be I be you know what I'm saying helping her at first. But like uh -huh. after a while I be like but I ain't wearing it what you wear what you wear. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They be like you look good with this with that woo woo. But I ain't for the key answering all your questions though. Nah, you it's too much. I don't know. I just be like <laughs> I be all when they come to my mama because like who take you out on a date? Like what y'all did on the date? You went to his house. You went to his house on the first day? No. Are you for real? I love her talking. What we do that at? Don't ask questions you Let don't want to know the answer to. Uh, <laughs> my mama get too excited and it just come out and I be like, oh. I be like, why you want to this man's house? Like, you're losing me. Wake up. <laughs> mm -mm. No. So anything else you want to talk about for y'all close this out? You got something on your mind? My bad. You got something on your mind. All right. Well, this is the Bowl House. Make sure you follow Quan Instagram and her Facebook. And then make sure you follow Simone House. And we got another episode coming for you all. Where we're going to be cooking, cook out Thursdays. Make sure you all tap into that. It's fine. Wait, oh, is it even so Thursday? Last minute. Oh, oh, the cooking video dropping Thursday. Okay. This video is going to be dropping. What's that? It's Saturday. <laughs> this one going to be dropping probably like Tuesday. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'm supposed to be filming like two videos next week. I'm exhausted. So we finna do another one or what we doing? Uh-uh, not. Oh yeah, we finna cook. Yeah. You already cooked? No. Are oh, we finna cook right now? Did you yes. go to the liquor store? Yeah. Okay. Unless you want you want some liquor? Or just a little bit? I mean, I mean, you would have them. You sip straight though. I have Tito's. What the fuck is Tito's? Tito's, that alcohol I had last time. Oh, okay, that okay, okay. I don't think I did. Are you like brown? I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know. Did you buy? Yeah, the wine was good, but we... What? The way how he was...